That's good. We just, we'll be talking about protocava anastomosis, but we'll be talking about protocava anastomosis in a special way. Okay. So um, we'll be talking about protocava anastomosis and be talking about the mnemonics to also understand protocava anastomosis too. Okay. So the question is, tabulate five sites of protocava anastomosis against the anastomosing vessels and clinical significance where applicable, right? So this is protocava anastomosis and we'll be doing a lot of work looking from this image, looking from this image, okay? So let's start. Okay, so um, protocava anastomosis is actually different sides of the body where portal veins are anastomosing with systemic veins, okay? So we have the table here and uh, the sites. We have the clinical significance, okay? Now on the sites, um, we have the lower end of esophagus. We have umbilical, we have umbilicals, we have bare area of liver. We have posterior abdominal wall and half lower end of rectum. The memory aid to remember the site is lube PL, okay? L is lower end of esophagus. U is umbilicus. Um, B is bare area of liver. P is posterior abdominal wall. And L is lower end of rectum. Okay, so moving forward, guys. We'll be looking at this. I'm looking at this. So lower, um, lower end of esophagus has the gastric the left gastric vein and the esophageal branch of esophagus vein coming together, okay? The lower end of esophagus, left gastric vein, and what do we have here? Esophageal branch of esophagus vein. And the hemiazygos could be esophagus vein, still the same thing, okay? Then at the umbilicus region, we have the umbilical vein and the epigastric vein coming together. So at the umbilical region, we have the para umbilical veins, okay? And this coming coming from down is the epigastric vein, okay? Then at the bare area of the liver, uh, bare area of the liver, diaphragmic nerves. Let me see if I could locate it. Bare area of liver, diaphragmic. Uh, I saw phrenic here, bro. Okay, right here, up here, okay? Though only phrenic nerve that is indicated, you should know that um, central vein and sublobular um, sub vein, okay? And intercostal and phrenic uh, vein, they are the ones that are actually anastomose at this region. They are about the posterior um, abdominal wall. We have splenic vein and left renal vein, okay? Posterior abdominal wall, this is it splenic vein and left renal vein, okay? Then how about the lower end of rectum? Lower end of rectum is the most simplest. We have the superior rectal vein as the portal contribution and middle rectal and inferior vein rectal as the um, systemic contribution, okay? So guys, that's it about the lecture. Now let's talk about the mnemonics. The mnemonics to remember the site is low PL. The mnemonics to remember the portal contribution is LPCSS. The mnemonics to remember the systemic vein is the EEILM. All right. Now for the site low PL, we have lower end of esophagus. We have umbilical. Um, okay, we have the umbilical, so we have bare area of liver. We have the posterior abdominal wall. And we have lower end of rectum. Then for the LPP, uh, LPCSS, okay, that's for the portal vein contribution. We have left gastric vein, we have paraumbilical vein, we have central vein. Now on this C, just know that there's another S, that's sublobular vein, okay? Then the other S, we have splenic vein, the other S, we have superior rectal vein, okay? Then for the systemic vein, we have EEILM. Okay, the first E is the esophageal branch of a, zy uh, of a zygos. The other E is epigastric vein. Um, the I is intercostal. Now, this I, just remember that it's a P attached to it. That's a phrenic vein. Okay, then from the phrenic vein, we have 
the left renal vein, and we have the middle and inferior rectal veins. Okay, so guys, um, these are the mnemonics you should work with. It will look strange, but don't worry, just put in work and you understand it. Okay, just grab one at a time, one at a time. Okay, so even if you can write them independently, where you come and join them together, it will form a table like that. Okay, since you followed accordingly. So, the clinical significance. These veins around the um, lower end of esophagus can actually get inflamed, and that's the esophageal varices, okay? Around the, umbili uh, the umbilicus, you can have caput medusae and uh, piles and hemorrhoids, okay, in the lower end of rectum, okay? So this is just another image, but I'll just prefer you work with this, okay? So guys, that's the mnemonic to remember the to carve out anastomosis and the clinical significance, okay? So that's it, see you guys, bye for now.